Hello YouTubers. In this episode I will uh, I will show and I will speak about uh, Magia 5. Uh, what is this uh, Linux distro and what kind of software it comes with with the live DVD. Uh, as you remember in the previous episode we have uh, installed Magia 5 in a virtual box and um, we got to the welcome to my gear window here I haven't touched any settings, I haven't done uh, anything I haven't updated the system but before that uh, I want to say a few words for Magia Magia is a um, fork of a Mandrake Linux back in the days like 5-10 years ago Mandrake was a quite uh, nice distro was one of the top distros back then. In 2010 uh, Magia was forked from Mandriva and some of the core developers of Mandriva and users and supporters of Magia formed, formed their core body of Magia. And um, although Magia is uh, like five years old already it is on a one of the top positions uh, in um, distro watch if we see right now as of today Muji is on the sixth place after uh, the main distros like Mint, Debian, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE and Fedora and uh, it's for a reason that Muji is um, uh, on the sixth place. Magia is quite good distro, I would say, from personal experience. Um, it's quite stable, it's fast, it's secure, uh, it can be used from a novice to Linux at all, uh, to, to a Linux expert can be used for a desktop, it can be it can be used in, uh, for a server. Um, we have downloaded um, we have downloaded uh, the live DVD but in their website they have also classical in installation and network installation. Uh, I will speak about a bit later about this but first Magia supports on the main desktop environments like Cinnamon, Gnem, Gnome, Ice, KD, Mate or Mate, LXD, LXQT, Openbox, Maker and XFC. It comes uh, for 30-bit and 64-bit operating systems. Uh, it uh, tries to keep up with the new software uh, as you can see, these are the latest software with the green and uh, Magia 5 is right now here on this column, as we can see the numbers are not so different from the latest software that they are trying to push in the system so with the, with the new software you get, you get also quite stable system I've been using Magia for a few months so far zero issues. It's very good for a novice to Linux to make a trans transition from Windows to the world of Linux. It works out of the box all codecs for your movies, uh, music uh, are there. You can start immediately playing uh, videos, uh, music, MP3s it also finds automatic, uh, automatically your uh, graphic cards if you have proprietary graphic uh, cards it can install NVIDIA, NVIDIA drivers or if you have Radeon it can install uh, Radeon graphic uh, drivers so everything almost perfectly works out of the box it requires uh, very little intervention to set up some drivers etc. Uh, let's uh, look at the software that it comes 
first uh, it greets you with a very nice welcome window which few distribution has such a options it's typical for Magia to be quite polished distro you see here release notes all information is just in front of your eyes application if you want to install feature it. the basic uh, applications games they have a great deal of games internet programs videos etc it's all of a touch of a button and installed so no console or terminal to use especially for the new users that's a very nice feature now the live DVD comes with few uh, applications on, on the system uh, for the sake of the size of the DVD they have included uh, bare minimum uh, of the live DVD which is 1.8 I think gigabytes but that, as I said they have also if you want more software you can you can uh, download the classical installations where they have allow around 4 gigabytes of the of the C of the DVD and if you want if you are expert in Linux and want a bare minimum of the system you can start with the network installation where you can uh, install the system in a text mode uh, now we will go to the software internet it's included blue De devil which can configure to connect your bluetooth devices like phone or a keyboard or bluetooth mouse firefox is your web browser IM contacts or RC it's a mes messengers client it's uh, similar to the windows users as a msn messenger uh, Knet attach it's a tool to attach a local network folders conqueror is an embedded uh, web browser it's also a file browser conversation is IRC chat client KPP is a tool to configure your modem network center is to configure your network office in our office sections we have just LibreOffice with all its um, uh, sections like uh, Word document, spreadsheet, processor, PowerPoint, uh, processor, drawing program, mathematical writing program, and uh, Ocular is for PDFs and PostScript viewers. It also can uh, can handle déjà vu files. In graphics, it acquire it comes with acquire images. It can get your images from cameras, scanners. DNG converter is to convert uh, a lot of from a lot of uh, image file formats GIMP is a quite extensive image editor and when view is an image viewer case snapshot is to make a screenshots of your desktop LibreOffice draw so uh, I mentioned it's a drawing program ocular is to see PDFs and postscript files in sound and video we have Amarok, it's an audio player. AMZ Downloader is an internet downloader. Dragon Player, it's your movie player, video player. KMX is to configure your sound. It's also accessible from here, this icon. Uh, KSCD uh, is a player to play music from your CDs or DVDs in your. Uh, CD DVD device, pulse audio, volume control. This is a this is a audio control tool. You can configure their input output devices, etc. TV time, television viewer, and uh, VLC media player. This is very nice media player. It can uh, handle almost all file, all all file formats, media file formats no problem at all with tool system tools Magia control center this is your administrator control center you can configure your computer security users networks etc system settings is uh, to configure your desktop environment you can 
change fonts, colors, appearances, effects, etc. Dolphin. Dolphin is a file manager. This is one of the best Linux file manager. K3B is a burning disk uh, program. Cases Guard is um, for a Windows user. This is like um, task manager. You can see the processes there. Uh, how much memory it, the, it uses the system. Uh, what is the network traffic, etc. Kwallet Manager is a password manager. Netapplet is to configure basic uh, network settings. For more extensive network settings, you can. This is a network center and pulse audio preference. Here you can configure your pulse server, audio server. Arc is a archiving tool. Kcal calculator, K character select. A character selection tool, Clipper is your clipboard management program, console is your terminal, Kwrite is your uh, text editor, uh, similar uh, in Windows as Notepad, Magia Welcome window that we saw before, and here to adjust some settings for your language, calendars, etc. In science it just comes with the LibreOffice math documentation, you have general help and a help manual for the Madria control center. This is one of the best tools in Linux. It's only available in a few distributions as Magia, PC Linux and the other derivatives of Mandria, uh, Mandrake and Mandriva. Install and remove software, this is your base basic uh, tool to install and remove software in a graphical mode. Here on the task manager <coughs> excuse me we have a here uh, this icon minimizes maximizes all windows is to the desktop this is uh, your virtual desktops currently we have four this is managing uh, your activity manager your activities, Dolphin, Dolphin file browser, this is a system icon to system settings, icon to the m control center and a Firefox. On the right side we have a icon for updates, right now we have new updates because uh, we haven't updated yet. This is your network uh, tool, clipboard, sound, uh, additional icons for instant messaging notifications for device notifier clock and calendar uh, Magia 5 comes with uh, KD version 4.14.5 uh, pretty new one these are the standard standard programs they're not uh, included too many for the sake of uh, space probably of the live DVD but as I mentioned you can uh, install the classical media where there's a great deal of software and um, another thing is uh, that right now Magia, Magia makes uh, automatic uh, updates for you even for the for the kernel since Magia is based on GNU Linux. The kernel is the heart of the Linux. This is the low level functions which communicate with the, your hardware. Right now we have as I, s as I mentioned 3.19.8 kernel but af after the updates it uh, will become 4.1.13 which is long term supported kernel. It's a pretty pretty snappy system even in a virtual box uh, in the next videos I will show you how to configure your KD what programs we will install one program that uh, lacks here in the live DVD and which I find it um, like a minus is uh, there's no email client more and more people started using standalone email clients rather than uh, the internet based uh, emails so would have been good if they 
included a female client like Thunderbird or Kmail. Uh, one thing I should mention is that uh, Magia has a 9 months release cycle. Each uh, version is uh, supported for 18 months. Also Magia is uh, RPM based uh, distro, it is not uh, Debian package based. It's uh, RPM as uh, Fedora and uh, Red Hat uh, Linux are also RPM based. So I think that's all for now. Thanks for wa watching and uh, see you next time.